As you can see, we're at the top now. This is our first week. We're uh, just sketching up the tree now. Um, and then we're gonna start painting this afternoon. So looking forward to it. Getting pretty exciting. I'm roughly chalking up this ocean slash beach cityscape panorama scene. Just gives me a rough idea of where I'm at, make sure I'm fitting everything onto the wall properly and then when I start actually painting it in, it just saves me a bit of time. We're a few weeks into this project now. You can see that we've got a clear walkway now so we can stand back and have a look at this mural. We've laid down all the base fill, which is what you see here, this shape, geometric sort of shape and pattern on the wall. A big part of this project was that we want to engage with the local community and a big part of the local community is being interactive with the young teenagers that are very interested in this type of art and a lot of them come from disengaged backgrounds, possibly haven't found their way through the educational and school system so we can provide them an opportunity to sort of run a bit of a mentoring program and get them thinking about what they can do if they put their minds to something positive. I think art therapy is fantastic and I know that it got me through a lot of hard times when I was that age and therefore I know it works. It would probably be relevant to Cheltenham. Cheltenham, that's yeah. it. And so we really wanted to incorporate this historical component into the work. We're at the stage now where we can start getting into the nitty gritty and start getting all the detail and the imagery overlapping these, uh, these big geometric patterns and it all should start to really come together over the next couple of weeks. This week we're moving on, progressing, done the cityscape and then today I'm going to be working on the ocean in this section. Um, and this will come all the way across here. Um, this will be my foreground bush area here. And then this is where the curtain gets drawn back. And this will be all the historic section over here. We, as you can see we've, we've sketched up some of this stuff last night. The idea is to put a basic outline up on the wall and it's more or less we just use it as a guide. So during the day when we come and fill it in, we have the exact proportions up on the wall um, and that makes our life a lot easier rather than by eye trying to actually get the proportions and everything in perspective. This good old fashioned projector, so I take it to probably about 20 years old, does me the absolute world of favours. As you can see, the last week or so, we've, we've really got some progression going now. All these historical sections really starting to come together. Got all the signage starting to happen now. My little beach scenes coming along as well. It's been really good for the kids to see this whole progression and see how it, how it starts from such a small sketch up to, to a finished piece. guys we're mentoring them with this project we're also going to help them produce these um, 
They're going to paint some canvases and then they're going to get uh, shrunk down onto flyers and they're going to be uh, produced as flyers for National Youth Week. It's more rewarding if you have do people that do recognise your stuff and a bit of feedback as well. Like, yeah. Not just the sort of sketch that you see yourself like, don't like it in two weeks. Catching up the top of this gum tree, nice and high up in the air. So yeah, just um, adding a few bit, bit more shading and a bit more texture up there. And then that whole section's done and we can start working on this bottom bit. Just been adding lots of detail, more plants. So this will still get laid up a little bit more here. Um, so yeah, just including a bit more specific native plants for the area. You can see here we've got the curtain coming in now. So this is where the, this whole section gets drawn back from the, the flora and fauna. So I think this is looking really amazing. Andrew's been working on Trevor Barker. He's got the wings in now and the halo. Um, a little golf image up the top there. And then, yeah, so at the moment we're working on, um, for us, I guess is the fun bit, uh, our kind of graffiti motifs that we're running through the area. Um, I think for us, this is really important uh, this will really help deter the kids from wanting to touch it or tag it. Um, I've already had lots of great comments from some of the local kids about how happy they are that there's some of this stuff going on the mural as well. Here we are, the final day of our project. Been here for well over two months now, uh, chipping away at it. Having opportunities like this should be well embraced, and we only hope that it, yeah, goes further. So we look forward to seeing what comes of this. Definitely, and definitely. And I mean, it's been really great the support we've got from the council and from from the construction company and from just from the local local people in general. I mean, the feedback's been awesome. Very impressed. It's, um, yeah, it's 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 a lot bigger when you get up close to it as well. Like it's a huge amount of work. And a lot of variety as well. It's got sort of you've got sort of the street art thing, and then you've also got like the realistic images of local <laughs> Cheltenham people. I really like um, the bronze section here, just around the football play. I think the colours are really beautiful, and the seascape and, and city view are beautiful. And definitely the bird at the end of the tree—they're probably my favourite. Highlights the area nicely. Shows it off because it is an historic area. Every time you look at it, you see something else. <laughs> It depicts the area so much. Yeah, the attention to detail and the way they've been able to merge all the different historical elements in such a way looks really, really impressive. I think it's absolutely outstanding. It really shows Cheltenham over the, its development, its evolvement from the market garden days. It's a gift to the community and it becomes a feature and it's lovely and it's a talking point and it's great for families and kids and it's just a lovely thing to have on a wall instead of graffiti. Today was a wrap, it was excellent. We had the mayor come down and uh, do a little bit of a speech and it was good to see the level of excitement. It was amazing to have the Barker family come down and appreciate that we'd uh, mortalised Trevor onto the wall and I think in the end uh, the whole project was a great success and um, we're pretty wrapped with ourselves so definitely really stoked and um, hopefully it's the first of many